Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about gel electrophoresis running problems and today we are going to discuss this gel and here is a problem statement. I just have been doing some extractions of DNA but currently my electrophoresis has been like this. The first well is a molecular weight marker and the eighth well is another sample I ran some time ago and it's okay. I use a new buffer, new free nuclease water and clean it my pipettes and so on. But now that I put another sample in the eighth well as control I think my DNA is degraded but I don't know. I have to say the voltage I used is 44 volts because the power supply doesn't give more. In the well number 8 we see well defined band but in the rest we see that uh, these wells are overloaded and there is a lot of impurities here and my suggestion would be to repurify the samples. This smearing here also indication of the DNA degradation. Low voltage stated by this researcher is not a problem here because low voltage usually gives better results than high voltage so running parameters are the only problem here. If power supply is delivering high current and not reporting it this can be a problem. As you see degraded samples are smiling badly here which means that too much salt in the gel. And if we compare with sample number 8 we see a well defined band and if we consider that this is going to be the same species in the rest of the wells we can say that here we see degradation of the DNA. You also can tell it not only by the band appearance itself but compare the distance this band traveled with what we see here. So here we have DNA of the smaller size which traveled farther away than this band. So again this is indication of DNA degradation. There can be a number of reasons for DNA degradation. For example exposure to environmental factors, chemical damage, enzymatic degradation, age of the sample and microbial activity. As you see DNA degradation can occur due to a variety of factors and the rate of degradation can vary depending on the specific circumstances. It is important to store DNA samples properly to minimize degradation and preserve the quality of the DNA for the future use. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.